Hello all, welcome to today's tutorial. This is going to be a really quick tutorial. Um, it's going to be on making some atmosphere and um, improving your scene in that way. So we're going to make a little desert scene. I'm going to give you some tips on how to make things that aren't baked um, look realistic and interact with your scene. So first what we're going to do, we're going to delete this cube. I'm going to add a plane. Scale this plane by 10, make it quite big. Uh, we'll go into edit mode, click tab, click W. And we'll subdivide it. We we'll go to the number of cuts. We'll make it about four cuts. All right. And so to give it a little bit of variance, so it sort of moves around, you can add some fractal. Um, moving this up, you can see it makes it look really strange, polygony. Um, and we'll move this to about one. Uh, we'll say 0 0.5. 0.5 is a good number. Um, now, if you don't like that, you can always do a random seed, and that looks pretty good. We'll just we'll leave it at this. Um, going back here, we're going to um, make it smooth so it's clean. And we're going to add a texture to it. So click tab. Um, oh, sorry. Go in to our materials over here. Add a new material. Um, we want it to be no specular, just straight up diffuse. Um, and the texture will be an image texture. And we're going to open a sand texture. I got this offline, which you can find when I can't see it. You need to unwrap it. So just click U, unwrap look at our material view I'm sure you're in blender game <laughs> um, and there we go so that's what we got um, quickly before you change anything else make sure GLSL is on all right cool so it's just a lamp we need a Sun so what we'll do is we'll bring this up here and we'll change this to a Sun um, we'll rotate it and we'll give it some shadows make this variance to make it look nicer um, we'll just rotate this. Don't know why that's there, but we'll rotate a little bit to get rid of it. So you can bring it closer. There we go. We'll just get rid of that. All right. And um, make it just a tad bit blue. Ah, never mind. Just leave it straight at white. Um, don't worry about that. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sphere. We're gonna move it up. It's got a, a shadow. We're make it smooth. So as you can see, this is the problem we're running into is we have um, this sphere and a scene and it really looks super unrealistic. It looks rather horrible. Let me scale this up. We'll scale it by two, make it bigger. And move this again. So that weird. Okay, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, it just doesn't look like it's actually in a scene and it interacts very poorly. So what we'll do is we'll go down here and we're gonna add a lamp, add a hemi. Um, and so how hemis work is they're just lights. It um, doesn't matter what they're pointing at, really. It um, just matters what direction. It can be all the way over here and still not affect it, or still affect it. So um, this is going to be the light that's going to be coming from the sky. So we'll, um, so we've got a bluish sky. We're going to go ahead and make the energy of it 0.5. Um, and we're going to make it a light blue color. There we go. You can go straight up blue. It just depends on how much you like. Do it like that. So make it a little wider. There we go. Um, we'll turn specular off. So we sort of have like a sunlight looking place. Now what we'll do is we'll duplicate it, rotate it by 180. Um, and this is going to be the ground reflection. So the reflection is a sand color. So we'll go down to this. We'll move it to a yellowish um, color. Now we're going to make this a little bit brighter since the sand is bright. It sort of bounces off. So there we go. We have a really good looking atmospheric um, uh, light bounce. And so this can allow things to look much nicer. Um, and what I'll do just to make this scene look pretty is we'll go ahead and add some mist and we'll add the horizon color. Make it a little blue. And just click plea. So there you go. There's your game. Um, it looks rather nice, and if we can just add some physics to this rigid body, yeah, make sure it sort of rolls around, and it's fine, and it looks really nice. Now there's some tweaking, and this is not exactly the right color, but um, you can get it to work. So um, thank you guys for watching for this quick tutorial, and we'll see you next week. All right, bye.